Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, I will be filming this in macro mode, so yeah, it's hard to get me myself on the camera, but uh, yeah. Today we're going to feed the uh, Pionorik uh, mineral, raw mineral. So let's see if I can drop that somewhere around where the camera is pointing. Definitely not. <laughs> I dropped that way out of view. Over here, let's see if we can get that somewhere in that. Ooh, I plucked a uh, green. Whoops. So let's see if they will attack it. I already fed them twice today um, half a spoon of Nutri Dust in the morning and half a, a spoon of Nutri Dust in the. Um, uh, at around. Uh, when did I come home? I think it was like 3 o'clock. And now it's uh, around eight. So let's see if we can get them on the food. Looks like it's no trouble at all. Still hungry, munching, munching, munching. Looks like maybe I got the food a bit too close on here uh, for us to uh, really see the shrimpies. Like, uh, I hope they won't block it. Um, but uh, yeah, this we could film all day. I love this view. I kind of love it. I think we can film around. Oh, I can see there's some babies even uh, coming to the food. Not small, small babies, but uh, let's call them babies. I, will, I want to show you some of the other parts of the tank. I'm sorry for the little plus sounds, um, but check this out. This is how the tank looks, and uh, you can see it's, uh, it's pretty much uh, covered in babies. This is just a random area. I think maybe this is where there's most shrimplets, but uh, if I go over here, you can still see shrimplets. Here you can still see shrimplets. Here you can see shrimplets, and here we have the food again. So let's see if we can get a focus on this again. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, but this looks awesome. And uh, these are the cheetah bees, and I'm still working on it. That's the one you can see right there. Let's see if we can hunt that on focus. That have uh, a awesome coloration. It's white, white, white. And it's not really what I'm going for, but it's definitely sticking out. You can definitely see some of its uh, forefathers. <laughs> Let's call that its uh, purels. Uh, the cheetah bee is, uh, sorry for that noise again, the cheetah bees is from a cross of the cheetah tiger and pure L's, pure red lines. And you can definitely see it's shining through, but uh, you can definitely also see it's not just pure L's. There we have it again, down the corner. That is so awesome. Um, this one is pretty cool. It has like an T right there in the head. Let's see if I can focus on it. It's right. Oh, it's out of the picture. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's focus on the food again until we see something else we want to take a closer look for. At I mean, um, I'm kind of uh, enjoying this tank. It's uh, it's really doing a kind of baby boom. Um, it's, uh, and a lot of survival. Uh, what I've done with this is kind of like a experiment. I'm almost only feeding it uh, nutri dust, and I'm not adding anything to the water uh, except water change. So this is just nutri dust and water change, um, and it seems like that is definitely working. So maybe the theory of uh, more. Uh, less is more might not be that wrong so definitely uh, cool I see some small small babies I definitely see five six different generations for sure um, I can see one of my favorite is uh, favorite shrimps is here over here it's a pretty female <laughs> it's almost attacking the camera but that one right there is one of my favorites uh, of course, we can have way more uh, done to it, like colors of the leg and also the carapax could be a bit more um, colorful, uh, more saturated. 
and the red, um, but definitely one of my favorite ceramics for sure. Um, but definitely, I'm um, going to work on this Cheetah uh, Bee tank experiment, and um, yeah, it's it's uh, harder than you think, uh, because uh, as you can see, a lot of them are looking like normal, regular bees. And that is definitely not what I want. Um, those will be called um, and get in the uh, Phenom type uh, B tank. Um, I have a dedicated tank just for Phenom types uh, bees, as I get a lot of Phenom type bees from all of my different projects. So um, definitely, <laughs> definitely need somewhere to put them. And um, yeah, that is a uh, oh the food is out. That is definitely um, something I need to do. Uh, otherwise, I would, <laughs> I would, I have no idea where to put them. But yeah, I have uh, in that uh, tank with the phantom types. I have all kind of shrimp. Even have the purels I used for different pro projects. So when I have like a shrimp uh, B type I don't use anymore, or is from a project. Uh, they get in that tank um, when I have a shrimp I don't use anymore um, like the cheetah tiger uh, all the cheetah tigers I think there were about 50 they came uh, to go in the mix tank uh, the harasta tank or the uh, swinger club as you could call it and that is pretty cool as well definitely getting um, a lot of uh, fun um, shrimp in that tank and um, I also put in stuff like uh, galaxy red devil yellow devil blue devil all kind of things that is not quite up to the uh, task of um, staying in the colony it's <laughs> it will go uh, in the rasta tank so um, yeah this is just a small update on this insanely beautiful shrimp tank uh shrimp colony is not the tank that is beautiful uh, even though the tank is not that bad i'm sorry we are in macro mode so i'm not sure we can even film that much but this is how the tank looks it's not the best looking tank uh, but the uh, coromos is definitely doing it it's also on the filter even and on the stone so um, we have some uh, Java fern there chilling. That red one right there in the middle is one of my favorites as well. And you can see it even have some light red on the legs. So we definitely need um, that one to produce a lot of youngsters. I, can, I see it is buried already again. Um, as I can see some of its shrimplets chilling around. So what I'm going to do with this group, <clears throat> sorry for that, Ooh, you're gliding. What I'm going to do with this group is um, I'm going to pick uh, all of them looking like crystals. As you can see right now, there's a lot looking like crystals, like way too much. And they're going in the uh, crystal venom type tank. And um, some are was on auction and then they're being sent out on Monday. Um, so yeah, that is definitely uh, what's going to happen with this tank. I think I might going to do a calling video as well, uh, where you can see me calling uh, again, as this is a more like weird calling because you're calling something that looks great, but still it needs to be called because it's not fitting in. So uh, let me know in the comment section if you want a new calling video on this group. We have done that before, but uh, let's do it again if you're up to it. Uh, put a comment on it. And um, yeah, that is kind of it for today. Um, so this was the uh, Pure Nordic raw mineral feeding on the Cheetah B uh, tank. And yeah, what more is there to say than... Uh, Stay shrimpy. Oh, by the way, let's see if we can get this video up on the 10 minute mark. So we're going to wait like five, six, seven, eight. 
nine. <laughs> but um, on the other way, um, we're going to talk a bit about my patrons, and I'm really glad I have you guys. And thank you for being that big help for me, and I really appreciate you guys. And um, yeah, that's uh, it for today, guys.